Healthy lifestyle information is all the buzz, of course, as we continue through this year. And what lifestyle changes can help us be the best we can be? Well, let's bring in registered nurse Linda Champa, and she's here to sift through some of those latest trends and information. So, Linda, let's start off with the healthy lifestyle trends you're seeing right now. Sure, Jordan. Um, thanks for having me, first of all. But, um, you know, heart health is in the spotlight right now. It, it's February, it's heart health month. And there are a lot of things we can do to take care of our hearts, but also to reduce our risk for heart disease. So, you know, we wanna eat a he heart healthy diet, um, get plenty of physical activity, not smoke, mm -hmm. control our blood pressure and our cholesterol. And Jordan, one really easy thing you can do to help reduce your cholesterol is eat plenty of soluble fiber. And oats are a rich source of soluble fiber. And if you haven't tried Bob's Red Mill Oats yet, you really do need to try them. I love them. I eat them almost every day. I really like the um, extra thick rolled oats and the steel cut oats. But there's so many varieties. You can try the Scottish oats, the instant oats, and most of these varieties varieties have organic and gluten-free options as well. But if, but if oatmeal is not your thing, you can also use oats as a replacement for, for breadcrumbs. You can bake them into desserts and entrees. And I even bake them into um, desserts right here. I have these black bean brownies. You might not mm. believe this, but they're actually delicious and they're gluten-free, Jordan. Yum, and that's so funny that you said you can also bake with it. I have done that when I was trying to be healthier blended my oats, used that as the flour, and it comes out great. So what other wellness topics are trending right now? Right. You know, gut health is really big right now, Jordan. I'm, I'm sure you're hearing it all the mm -hmm. time. And it's important and it's good because most of our um, immunity is actually in our digestive system. So you wanna keep your gut healthy. And there are a few things you can do for our gut health. You can eat fermented and fiber rich foods. You can talk to your doctor about possibly taking a probiotic and a prebiotic. Sleep and reduction of stress is also good for your gut. And, you know, in this pandemic, we want to keep our immunity up. And an another thing that sort of has come into focus, I think, in this pandemic is the fact that a lot of people have put off routine medical care, um, mm -hmm. have delayed getting their annual checkup. But it's time to get back on track, Jordan. That's what I'm here to tell you this morning. If you haven't made that annual appointment, go ahead and make it. Don't be afraid to talk to your doctor about anything that might be bothering you, even if something is embarrassing, say like incontinence. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know this, but 50% of women over the age of 50 actually have bladder leaks. And so, um, you know, it's more common than you think. But the good news is a company called Because Market is making things a little bit easier with their highly absorbent underwear that feel like real fabric underwear. They're super absorbent and they absorb they're super soft, I should say, and they absorb almost 40% more than the leading brand. And the underwear and pads can be delivered discreetly and conveniently right to your door. So personal matters stay personal. And if you go, this is really great because right now, if you go to their website, it's becausemarket.com slash try it. They will actually send you a free starter pack so you can try out the pads and the underwear, um, you know, for free. Nice. So I think that's great. Yeah, try before you buy if, if you know, if you want. So let's talk about the future, Linda. What are you seeing in terms mm -hmm. of wellness trends and things we should be looking into? Sure, sure. Well, I think the future is m mental health. Mm -hmm. I think the stress, the anxiety, the isolation that people have faced um, right now in this pandemic is with us now. It's going to be with us in the future. And it's really taken a toll, Jordan. I don't know if you have children or not, but especially on our kids, middle schoolers, high schoolers, our college kids, I think we need to make time um, to listen to them, mm -hmm. tell ourselves to be patient. I know I've had to do that with myself. <laughs> we need to take care of ourselves and also try to take care of our kids. I know we work in news, but sometimes turning off the news, not listening to it, focusing on positive thoughts, reaching out, making connections in the community, all those things help. And if, if you see your child struggling, reach out to their pediatricians. Pediatricians, I can tell you as a nurse working with them, wonderful people, they have wonderful resources and they'll help you. And also if you're for yourself, if you're struggling, reach out to your pr health practitioner for help because you know we have to take care of our, not only our physical health, but our mental health as well. Definitely, we want, if we wanna be able to help others, we need to help ourselves first. So speaking of resources, where can we go for more information? Exactly. 
Sure, if you want to read more about these wonderful oats, go to bobsredmill.com. And also, if you want to try the, the, these wonderful underwear, you can go to becausemarket.com slash try it, and they'll send you a free starter pack. Wonderful. Well, thank you for helping us feel better and uh, mentally and physically as we continue through 2022. All right, Jordan, thank you. Take care. You too. And if you'd like to see this segment again, just head to our website, firstcoastliving.net.